Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. We are back with some more adventuring in Evo Land Legendary Edition Evo Land 1. We have uh, kind of visited this little village here in the last episode. We picked up a friend in which we are going to help uh, find something that she has lost and uh, let's go see if we can do that. We have uh, also evolved up through a few generations of consoles so far so we're gonna head on and see how uh the rest of the game evolves in both the graphics and the settings as well as what happens in the game so let's see if we can get rid of a few of these slimes now she is a magic user i believe oh she only heals well i don't really need to heal but yeah, okay, she can take out a slime. That's cool, cool, cool. So let's get uh, these guys taken care of and see, do we have four stuff here? And I believe that's really all we got around here. We need to go up, I believe in the cave and that's where we'll locate what we need to find. But I'm kind of just doing a little bit of exploration here. Um, I have played through this game, but it's been a while, so I don't remember everything, uh, you know, and how it happens and exactly, you know, the order of events and that sort of stuff. So it's a lot of it's going to be a surprise to me as well. Now, we do go quite often from a, uh, like a turn-based style to an action base style like it will do here we need to find the crystal its power can change your perception of the world and with it you can fight the evil that threatens my village by the way i just noticed that i forgot to ask your name so we are going to just yeah we're clink i got a name here we go that's awesome <laughs> so we upgraded into a name oh well, we got cave monsters now too uh oh that guy likes looks kind of cool I like him, but he looks very tough. I'm not doing near as much damage on him. Ouch. As I was on the things outside. We might be a little too uh, weak for this. Or, yeah. Okay, we got him. I was getting a little worried there for a second. I didn't know if we were going to be able to defeat him or not. So there's nothing there. Let's continue on. I am interested to see how it evolves and your all opinions on the consoles in which it represents. Ooh, I think we're gonna get rid of these mole things first. I believe these will go down a lot easier than that tank guy. Uh, but uh, I'm very familiar with the early set of uh, consoles like the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo uh, but I am less familiar with once we get up into like the uh, 64 I'm not very familiar with the Sega line as well. I had I never owned a Sega Genesis and uh, But I did have some friends that have one so I played it a little bit uh, the Genesis I don't know much about and beyond the Genesis. I don't know much about uh, and then especially when she got up into 64, the Nintendo 64, um, I was off into college and got into PC gaming. So, you know, the 64, the PlayStation, PlayStation 2 era, GameCube, those I definitely uh, am not very familiar with. And I don't want to attack. Can I go back? There we go. I want to heal again because Clink is pretty low on health here and I would like to get his health up a little bit more. Um, so I, I'm thinking from what I know, uh, the extent of the game goes to around the PlayStation 2 era. I don't think we'll get to that uh, style in this episode, but just kind of keep that in the back of your mind as you're watching. I would like to know your... Uh, all, your all opinion of I can't get to that. Yeah, yeah I can't get to that uh, Your opinion of You know, where is it that it actually? Uh, falls in the range of so that that I would be very much interested in that as well I got experience points. Well, that's good all this while I haven't been getting experience points 
Uh, that's kind of rough. I believe I can go back. Damn, I think we made a big old loop there. Um, I'm actually going to be really happy if um, we can get some levels here. That would be very useful, I think. Very useful indeed. And I do like how they... Uh, the game, it's a very unusual... Oh, I got another star. Um progression i guess of the game to be able to unlock stuff like that and i i really do enjoy that part of the game it's a lot of fun a life fountain what did that do uh i'm assuming going to give me some life but real clink has reached level two and his attack increased and Karis reached level two and her defense is this my life fountain oh yeah yes i would love to save my game that would be amazing <laughs> So we will wander around in the cave of, uh, like fogginess or something. Uh oh, I don't think I was supposed to touch on that. You got something happened somewhere. I love that in games. That's the kind of the fun about this game as well. There's a little bit of tongue in cheek humor, uh, just like that. A lot of games you open something, hit a button and then something happens somewhere and you have no idea, uh, what happened where, and you have to go find that. And I, I kind of find that uh, frustrating when I'm playing in a game, but I do like the, it, it's it's humorous here because you know it, it's kind of making fun of that as well. These scavens are not too difficult, but I would still like to heal her heal. I don't know how well it's doing, but it seems to be doing more healing than the damage, and that's one thing you got to be very careful about in role-playing games but i've been doing a lot of D, D as well is that the crystal i need to find oh you woke up the guardian of the crystal oh that doesn't sound good oh kafka's ghost oh uh oh i hope we could uh take it he's the uh, crystal's guardian for many sister centuries but it looks like it has been corrupted by some evil power most likely the same evil that has attacked my hometown Let's get the crystal and we need its power to fight. Okay, we will see what we could do. I'm gonna try to have Clink do the damage and she heal up as much as she can, trying to combat that. But what I was saying is like, I have been playing a and d um, a lot recently and um, can I make it so she's only healing herself? That would kind of be better. I'd feel that she would be able to do more damage. Um, or, you know, a lot of times heal spells heal more if they're targeting one person versus targeting two people. Um, but so yeah, D back to D&D. I lose my train of thought. So you see, um, D&D and role playing games, you've, when you heal, uh, you have to make sure that you are healing more than the damage that you are taking because if you are taking more damage, ooh, a phantom counter, ooh. If you're taking more damage than you're healing, then you, it really doesn't help to heal. The heal, the, the, uh, it would be better off to attack with that character if you can't, you know, negate the attacks that you are getting. So, um, she seems to be doing pretty good. Um, she seems to be healing more overall than he, he's putting out, I think, but it's pretty close. It's, it's going to be a, a, a close one here. It just depends on who he hits and how hard and what abilities that you, uh, that he has and is able to do. There's that, that ghost thing is, yeah, not a good thing. Cause I, I feel that it's, it makes the, makes him invincible there for that attack. But if she's healing 15 each time and he's switching back and forth and doing less than 30, um, I think we'd be okay. Clink is, I think health is max HP is 100 and hers is like 75 ish. So she is really the one that I'm worried about right now. Um, but well, yeah, but uh, yeah, we seem to be doing enough healing 
that were able to fight off the heal the attacks that he's doing and that's ultimately what you really need to do there we go 400 gliss and 20 xp there we go we got up to level three awesome the crystal crystal power has been activated that's my first major boss battle and i'm excited we got it done oh there we go we got 3d mode so there we go so now we're up a little bit uh another graphics setting there power of the crystal is incredible now i feel like i can fight the evil which threatens my village but we will have to cross the norian mines in order to reach it thank you for helping me you're my hero i would say this would kind of be the nintendo 64 area so what am i supposed to do am i supposed to like walk away now what i'm like oh okay i was gonna say i'm just like off into nothing i'm in no there so now we're kind of back into a um uh what's the word um 16-bit music sweet um action rpg but yeah this low poly area right here Ooh, another life heart there we go i got my life hearts awesome i knew there's somewhere i ended up getting life um but yeah somewhere I, I again i don't know exactly uh the de delineation of the different consoles uh, especially in the later retro co consoles but uh yeah i would say this was probably around the 64 era uh is what it's supposed to be. i think it's probably a little bit better than the 64 uh I don't feel it's as as pointy as what the 64 always was but i mean it's that kind of style in, in my opinion yeah there we go we're killing all the octo octopodes there we go let's keep on going left that's my rule left left now in some areas like this i might you know th where the the road kind of zigs here i'll come down to here and make sure i check the left and then i'll go over here to check the right sometimes if i'm going on a long pathway sometimes it's not useful to always go always left because then you're gonna end up uh traversing that path twice uh because you have to traverse it going all the way on the right side and then traversing it when you're going all the way on the left side as well uh so sometimes it's not all that beneficial I feel that there's something back here yeah uh but like on a path like that that i think that i'm going to go uh a long way what i'll do is uh you know kind of check out each path little by little and uh keep on going back and forth to make sure that i get everything well this is all blocked off by rocks so i figure we're gonna get bombs probably at some point here is what it feels like there were a several rocks back there bats bots there we go ah there we go we just went oh we just went around them there we there that makes it Ooh, pixelized textures yeah let's get around here and make sure that we have gotten this all i believe we've got everything I don't think I have a run feature in this area or in this uh, mode of, of the game. But I like overall out of the RPGs that I have played, I have enjoyed. Oh, you got Dimensional Stone Pass. Interesting. Oh, I'm back in the early game. That's interesting. So now we're on this side. Okay, that is interesting now i wonder what has been opened over here there was another dimensional thing somewhere and i don't remember there's a save game let's go ahead and save my game where was that see we got some rocks like that that those cracked rocks make me think that they're going to be bombable uh but we're going to see if we can find 
where was it that had that other dimensional uh, stone thing so that we can go back across. Always, always be saving. ABS, always be saving. Oh, that's just a little island. I was thinking there was another bridge off that way. I think nope more blocks more 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 bro blockade so yeah we could just oh right there it is there we go let's grab that I got a life bonus monsters will now drop hearts to replenish your life well that's kind of sweet there we go just like that oh what ooh, it looks like we got something good here oh camera zoom you look very cool when you get a new item <laughs> that's cool so yeah, there's some a little bit of tongue-in-cheek things in there like that, the camera zoom and stuff like that. So it's it, it's humorous and fun as well. A uh, fun game to play. So I do recommend it. And I would pick the Legendary Edition, not not because I I just don't know how they've changed, if they updated anything uh, versus the first one versus the Legendary Edition. Um, so yeah, if you're going to pick one up, I would stick with the Le 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 Legendary Edition, which gives you both of them. And that's just in case there's anything that has been changed, now you'll be able to uh, enjoy that as well. I got HD textures, look at that. Now we're going up pretty quickly here and getting into probably something in the uh, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 era. I think I'm semi lost in here. <laughs> there has to be something around here, something. Something is somewhere that's going to help me out. We did go across that dimensional stone, so we know that there's a new, we're in a new area. The Noria mines are just south of here. If we can get through them, we will reach my hometown. I hope everyone is doing okay. Please hurry, my hero. I will do my best. Um, I think being called hero is, uh, um i don't know puts a lot of pressure on me oh fancy three-dimensional world so now we're past mode seven look at that oh nice little uh dungeon here and what are we going to get in dungeons mines have been opened you can now explore the mine um i don't know if i want to explore the mines the mines are scary Scary, scary. Can I break through there? Seems like they're telling me this way is dangerous. Yeah, let's not go to the dangerous route first. Looks like there's going to be a switch to pop that up. Maybe this chest will give me switches. Breakable pots. There we go. All kinds of stuff. Step by step. Let's do it. This door seems locked. We need to find a way to open it. I'm counting on you. Well, I think I can. We'll either need to get a key, we'll either get key or like a pressure plate kind of lock button. Yeah, we got pressure plates. There we go. Pressure that one down and then walk over here and get this other one. Why does there always have to be two in games? There's just, there's always like two pressure plates. Got door mechanisms, sweet. Yeah, it does make it, I mean, if they're gonna make it so easy to uh, open, why do they even have Ouch! Door mechanisms. The red wizard. Did I get him? Aha. And I want to need a key. And I bet you that will give me a key and that will give me bombs. Oh, I got a trap room. That's not good. <laughs> that is not what I wanted. They'll probably give me a. Oh, another treasure chest. Do I get a key? Aha, uh -huh. guess what it's used for? I don't know. What are keys used for? Let me think. Yeah, well, we got a skeleton. I like how that introduces the characters by you unlocking them. That's kind of cool. He's nasty. He's like, Ugh. I like how they just kind of poof away as well. Is there a secret passage over here? I feel that we're going to get secret. Oh. I bet you I need to find bombs first. Where are the bombs? 
I can see something under the water here. There must be a mechanism nearby. Yeah, I figure so as well. She seems to be Captain Obvious over here, but that's all right. Something is happening somewhere. I guess we every once in a while, uh, we need a Captain Obvious. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I got a maze. Oh, I don't like mazes. No, let's not. Let, no, let's 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 unlock something else. Man, why did I have to unlock the maze? Of all the things that I can unlock. So yeah, I'm just going again around the left. Um, uh, wandering around. Oh, we went to a dead end. That's not good. You do run into dead ends, and usually. You'll be doing a lot of backtracking if you always go left or always go right. Uh, however, that is the most guaranteed way to be able to know that you have uh, covered the, the whole map and been able to like see all the I see all the uh, I guess uh, secrets or you know anything. You just be able to make sure that you're going over the whole board I want to go actually down that's kind of just a dead end I think and that probably leads me back around to the beginning I think this was the beginning yeah I wish we had a run maybe we'll get a run <laughs> ability at some point as well we do only have our sword and we uh, because of that we do get bombs and arrows at some point as well in this mode in this kind of uh action rpg mode oh come on yeah yeah these are nice to go just hit them around the corner they do block your attack though if you're not careful they do have an ability to ah, block your you kind of have to hit them on the, the on the side they're breaking the pots let's break the pots there a pushable block Ooh, looks heavy don't hurt your back <laughs> push it and it's neat also the way they do this because as i've talked about before the introduction to mechanics is a tricky thing in a game and how are you going to introduce the mechanics in a way that is easy to understand easy to deal with and intuitive in the way that this game does it is in that you unlock everything makes it a much easier way you don't have to explain as much uh you don't have as much you know uh, your uh player doesn't have to like try to figure stuff out as much um you know that um you know it they unlock this thing or something or you know you find a chest and you know you're gonna unlock something so um gosh, I'm almost gonna be stuck in the corner here um oh, I got the heart and begin but got hit there that's not useful uh, so yeah you know uh, that things are going to be high def user interface interesting oh oh the hud up there yeah I, I can see that now a lot of monsters in the previous room i hope you're not hurt badly sorry if i can't help that much with fighting at least i'll hear you heal your wounds well that's awful nice of you oh he's like an armored squid armored squid oh let's see what's in the treasure chest i got a hole uh great place to get rid of invincible monsters so i could like oh can like knock him in there we go I wonder if she heals me ever so often. That'd be kind of cool. If she just like continually healed me. Left or right? Let's go left. Always go left. Oh, that was the wrong decision, I guess. Come on. I need to get through here and I need to save the game. Let me, let me through. I want to save out. Yeah. Ah, you stupid. Stupid skeleton. I guess right was the right choice. I thought that one would open the left and one would open the right. Uh, but I guess I was wrong there. The left was the wrong choice. You got whirlwind. Woo! So, yeah, so easily it kind of just shows you 
the mechanics there I need to be able to get uh, without really telling you much kind of also warn warned you a little bit oh gosh a light puzzle yeah, a light puzzle and mages attacking me at the same time that's not good can I get one of these there we go I, oh that was ah no I was gonna say I got both of them I, I got I thought I got one twice but it ended up being I got the two different ones there we go now what am I supposed to do with this light puzzle just light them all up that that was that was fairly simple <laughs> that was there we go these bats are kind of just annoying but they'll give me our oh we got spikes oh and a whirlwind no no run ow ow what I get here I got a key awesome I don't think we get a map in this area though like a uh, a map of the dungeon I would like to have a map of the dungeon map of the dungeon is always good I think ouch once I get this we are going to save here and that's probably going to be the episode for today oh we got lava that's not good uh, that I think is a good place to stop we got a nice save same save game so we went up from like maybe Super Nintendo to a PlayStation 1 or 2 um, in this episode. I still enjoy it. still has kind of a retro feel to it. I like the uh, divide between action. I per personally prefer an action RPG over turn-based. So I kind of like that flip-flopping back and forth quite a bit. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.